What is my five-year-old daughter's favorite animal? I'll give you three seconds to guess. If you said great white shark, you're right. What five-year-old girl says great white shark? I don't know, but she is my main inspiration for putting a shark soap into my pool party soap collection. You can get all of the soaps in our pool party collection on June 3rd at royaltysoaps.com, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. We will also have some brand new limited edition summer sugar scrubs. So without further ado, let's make some soap. All right, let's begin by pouring in our lye water solution. Blend it on up. Gonna pour us off two accent colors. And let's get our accent colors poured in. First, I have a bit of Shocker Blue. This is from Mad Micah's. This is one of my favorite blues to use. Blues to use, blues clues. Then I've got some titanium dioxide to go in with that one. Then I have some ultramarine blue mixed with a little bit of black. So hoping this looks very navy. And then I have a whole lot of brilliant blue that I'm placing into our main soap container. This is my fragrance oil blend. It consists of South Pacific Waters, that is from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and Cool Water from Nature's Garden. Suffice to say, it smells very watery. <laughs> It's actually a really, really good blend if you shop at either of those two places for fragrance. I'm gonna go ahead and blend these up. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in. What a gorgeous blue that much. It's funny, the fragrance combo riced, but then after I mixed it all up, now it's really runny. Okay, I've left a little bit in my containers, just like this, about this much. So we all love small business shopping, right? But have you ever wondered about all the steps involved in shipping your order? Let's pack one up and see how stamps.com makes my life easier. All right, so I've got my box and now I'm gonna add some cute tissue paper, place my soaps in, cover again with the tissue paper and place their stickers on top. I weigh the package with the free scale stamps.com provides, which is super handy. Then I use their rate advisor to find the cheapest shipping method from my customer, and all the shipping info is neatly organized in an easy to use dashboard. With my label printed and box taped up, the products are off to the shipping shed and then to their new home. I love watching people pack orders, and if you're the one doing the packing, check out stamps.com. Right now, there's a special offer at stamps.com slash royalty soaps. You'll get a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. That's stamps.com slash royalty soaps. Grab this deal and make your shipping a breeze. All right, let's go ahead and pour into our large slab mold. And then I'm gonna pour from the corner. I'm gonna pour from this corner. Basically, I'm just trying to make sure that all the soaps have all the colors. That's all I'm trying to do here. Then I'm gonna pour back and forth, just like so. Now, why did I add this to my pool party collection? <laughs> Obviously, there are no sharks in a pool. Um, <laughs> there's a couple of reasons. One, I wanted people to be able to get them before Shark Week happened. So obviously that requires me releasing them a little bit early, just like I would release Christmas soaps in November, even though that's a little bit early. Just gonna put a stripe of this, make sure I have some on all the bars. Now I can just fling the rest wherever. I just need to make sure I have at least one stripe. Another reason, is because of the pool game Sharks and Minnows. Come on, reach back to your childhood. There's probably multiple names for it. Every time I say something like that, I find out that that's like either a Texas thing or an American thing. And they're like, oh yeah, we played the same thing. It was just called something else. Basically, you try to get across the pool before your buddy, whose eyes are closed on the other side of the pool, recognizes that you're moving and they come and they eat you. You are are the minnow, they are the shark. It provided hours of endless fun.
fun <laughs> for me as a child. And now my kids play it in our pool. When we went to Hawaii, Lily had two requests because she's a big ocean girl. There are kids that love the snow. Uh, there's kids who are like autumn babies from when they were born. And then there's kids who are just ocean kids even if they don't live near the ocean. And that is Lily. Lily is hard to get out of the water. <laughs> She would live in there if we would let her. So when we went to Hawaii, she wanted to pick up trash on the beach and she wanted to see a shark and swim with it in the water. Um, I was able to make one of those things happen and I was secretly praying the whole plane ride there that the other one would not happen. <laughs> So this is also a shark soap for Lily because she loves sharks so much. She particularly loves a whale shark um, and a hammerhead. Now, let's make a wave on the side of these soaps. So I'm gonna start by scooping up into the white part right here, just on this one side. Bring that dark color up a little bit. It's still pretty gloopy, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. We just wanna be able to have a little bit of texture that's all. Up onto this side, just a little bit. Boop, 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 all the way down. Perfect. Ooh, those look like such stormy waters. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt right here, right down the middle. You know what? This is probably a little too wet for salt. We'll do that last. Let's put our shark fins on instead. You see our little shark fins? They'll just be poking right out of the water. I'm going to be putting the shark fin, I think, let's see, should we make him emerging out? Coming out of the deep waters? Ooh, that's kind of creepy, okay. Or do we want it swimming like this, up high? Okay, I'm kind of here for the shark looking like it is slicing through, and that's why there's like an indentation here. Oh wait, where is my slab grid? <laughs> Don't mind me just randomly placing things in here. <laughs> wow, um, I actually placed them perfectly, which we love. Definitely looks like the shark is like splitting the water, which is so cool. Granted, this is like Shark Week soap, but I could have made it a little worse. Maybe put a little bit of blood in the water. <laughs> But you guys know me, I don't do gore soap, I don't do Halloween soap, I don't do frightening soap. Oh! Apparently I do throw embeds in my soap though. <laughs> Plus also, I joked about, you know, not, not wanting Lily to meet a shark in the water, but I know very well that the, the, the likelihood of a shark attack is very small. I also know that there's plenty of animals in the ocean, including sharks, that are relatively misunderstood and they kind of get a bad rap. And that is why I am just letting Lily love them <laughs> because I'm like, listen, yeah, the chances of anything bad happening to you because of a shark is so small and they're always just trying to mind their own business out there so I I'm not about to you know make it look like they're always out for the kill. <laughs> Just destigmatizing the sharks out here. Don't mind me. <laughs> but yeah, sharks for sharks and minnows, sharks for Lily. There was a lot of reasons to throw them into this month. I also wanted them available for Shark Week for those of us who use Shark Week as a way to kind of educate our kids about ocean conservation. That's something very close to my heart. I have quite a few ocean charities that I really love, absolutely love, Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii. There's an amazing charity in Florida that focuses on sea turtle conservation. Yeah, I'll leave a couple of my favorites down below for you. I really used to nerd out about oceans and making sure that pollution was low and all of that sort of stuff when I was in high school. Did quite a few projects on it. I had an ocean phase that lasted a very long time. Probably would have lasted a whole lot longer <laughs> if, if soap hadn't taken over. Over. Very much into surfing. I watched surf competitions on the mainland. Like, wh what was I doing? I had literally never even seen the ocean before, but it was my vibe. I had surfer stuff everywhere in my room. Mom made me a surfer cake. I'm pretty sure I already talked about this this month, but yeah. It won't surprise you to know that next month's soap theme is like ocean themed. <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> so we have this biodegradable glitter. It's from Latchkey Lusters. This one is called Splash. It is really the perfect glitter for this because it's a little bit chunky and it has some darker colors in it. And I really was trying to work some of the darker colors into the top. All right, last little bit of glitter here and we're just gonna leave it as is. So this is what our shark soap looks like. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow and we will get us some bars of these all cut up. <laughs>